Plutonium-238 is a man-made radioactive isotope that was created by Glenn Seberg in 1941. He irradiation of neptunium-237 in a reactor and then chemically treated with nitric acid to extract the plutonium-238. Plutonium-238 has an alpha radiation of 5.49 MeV because of its decay of reunion. It has a short half-life of 87.7 years and has a melting point of 648 degrees Celsius. It has a density power of 0.57 watts, but is the only element that gets denser when it reaches its melting point. Plutonium-238 is well known for its decaying qualities and people normally use this decay for its heat and energy. NASA has developed this idea into using this as a heat and energy source for their spacecrafts and satellites, for example, Apollo, Voyager, Galileo, and etc. In these spacecrafts, they put plutonium into a radioisotope power source, RPS, which converts heat from radioactive decay of plutonium-238 into useful electrical power. It's practically a space battery. One gram of plutonium-238 can generate a prox of 0.5 watts of thermal power. Plutonium-238 is very safe compared to its brother, plutonium-239, is it doesn't suddenly create big explosions and doesn't have a deadly radiation. Because it is an alpha radiation, it is a human and environmentally safe element. It has a high thermal stability because you can oxidize the plutonium to make a powder out of it. This helps to handle and contain it. The plutonium itself is extremely dense with heat, so you can't break it to use it. You would have to make, melt it and keep it under great protection because of its heat and radiation. It doesn't have a very long lifespan to be used in many spacecrafts because of the short renewal process that would have to go through. It costs over a billion dollars to manufacture it, so it's extremely financially impractical. The government could pay price to allow more spacecrafts to reach the stars because it's the only fuel that have that is safe, reliable and efficient. NASA spacecrafts depend on a lot on this element, so it's high value to be used again because it's the only element suited for the job. By producing this element, it will allow scientists all over the world to have a better insight into the universe we are in.